All right, you guys, so I'm getting ready to do my Southwest Airline interview. I am so excited to share this with you. I'm excited, I'm a tiny bit nervous. I mean, I do coach, and it's funny, because even if you coach and you're a coach and you're a public speaker, you still get scared, uh, and you still get nervous, which is fine, because the nerves kind of help you pull through and push through. Um, so it's kind of exciting in a way, just letting you guys know that I am wearing a, my, um, whatchamacallit, my beautiful one and only a golden successful bracelet and i'm also wearing my my pichu <clears throat> i don't know if you can see him right over oh, hold on i'm gonna adjust him a little bit there he is there he is um so for good luck <clears throat> now wish me good luck you guys it is almost time i've got to go um so i'm gonna go upstairs and set up my room i'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like um, but if i do get the job you guys again a success bracelet every time i interview it always always nails it for me it always does it for me it always helps me it inspires me it helps me find my words um it, it's got to be the golden eye tiger it just inspires me and it helps me through my interviews so wish me good luck and i uh, just wanted to prove to you guys that it's the little things that you know will give you that extra oomph and that extra a positive spirit and that extra you know ability to be able to basically push through an interview if that's gonna help you then wear it okay because mine is giving me so much luck it made me win that contest that i did on tv uh that game show so i'm hoping that it helps me with that as well so good luck good luck good luck shelly <laughs> i'll keep you posted and see what happens okay you guys i am done let me check this fan over here an hour you guys an hour of interrogation that was heavy those they were super nice they were super cool asking me a million questions but i'm not gonna lie they were bombarding me with questions after questions i was under the impression that maybe four to five questions but they did not stop and uh, there was a recruiter it was a female very sweet and then there was also a flight attendant that was with her. Um, he was adorable and so sweet too. She mainly asked me the questions. And when she said, well, I don't think I have any more questions for you. And then she passed it on to the gentleman who had many questions for me as well. So I'm like, oh. Um, <clears throat> it was very taxing in a way that I was trying to think really hard about my answers before, as they're asking it. So they would start asking it and I was already um, premeditating my answer, which was so helpful because they would kind of look at a screen. They kept looking up um, and the interviewer actually had a Southwest kind of a fake background. It actually looked like she was inside of a plane. Uh, obviously it's not, but it was really cute. So I kind of brought that to her attention and I'm like, oh, that's a great background. Um, so we started talking, they make you feel really comfortable, but they really want you to know your stuff, you guys. Now I'm not gonna get into what question they were asking because that's not fair. No one's told me the question and there was a lot. <clears throat> I believe because I'm a flight attendant, there's some question they can't ask me, such as like, do you know what the responsibility of a flight attendant is? So because of that, they really pick at your brain thinking that you already know all this stuff. So they were very particular and wanted to hear a particular answer, which pretty stressful. Definitely know the airline inside and out, you guys. You have to know what you're talking about. They will question you. Um, so on a scale from one to 10, how did I do? I think it's a 10. Actually, it was up on point. Every question, I nailed it. There's not one ounce of hesitation. I had a bank of answers to pick from. They were in my brain. Um, I studied the culture. I studied the airline. I studied everything. So if they were to ask me, which they did, I could nail it. And they were trying to nail me. I swear to God, they kept on asking me a specific question, trying to nail me. And every time they tried to trip me, I would trip them back because I knew the answer. And they kept going and going and going. And I kept going and going. And I think they were gave up. They're like, okay, she's good. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited. I hope I did really, really well. Um, I'm very confident about this interview process uh, compared to the one that I did oh, uh, what, a few years prior to, which was horrible. Um, as you can see from the video that I posted years and years ago, I went there not knowing what to expect. And I was not prepared at all compared to today. I've grown so much. And I taught you guys how to interview your 
pretty ready. You know what to expect. Um, I took all that knowledge that I share with you. I brought it into this interview with me. I literally did it an hour. I know, but don't take my advice. I did it an hour before my interview, so it's still fresh in my mind. It's not something that I kept doing every day, uh, but I did practice out loud how I would answer. So I got my hair ready at 8 o'clock, knowing my interview was at 2.30. Uh, what originally I thought it was at 1.30, so <laughs> kind of made a fool of myself there. I'm like, oh, you're a flight then you should know. Central time is two hours behind Arizona. Duh. Okay, but um, I was in the shower, and I was out loud saying my answer, articulating them really well so, so that I can kind of like plan my answers, uh, and they made sense. So it's really important that you do that. So I rehearsed it probably for 15 minutes in the shower, let it sleep, um, and then I revived all my thoughts literally an hour prior to, so everything's still fresh. Uh, I, I, re I don't retain really well. I retain on the moment right there. It's like a test. You cram, 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 and literally it's still there. Um, that's the way I've done it for training. That's the way I'm doing it now. It works for me. Maybe it doesn't work for you, um, but you do what works for you. Now, this was my tire. Uh, it was probably a little too open because I know that they kind of saw this. Let's see here. It was cut here. So they kind of saw that this was open, which is not too recommended, uh, but I did lose weight since I got this outfit and that's all I had. I haven't interviewed for the last, gosh, three, four years now because I've been a flight attendant, so I didn't need to, but I just wanted to challenge myself and see, can I get this one airline that I wasn't able to get? So that was bothering me so much and I'm so glad that I was able to get it. Um, and so, well, to get it, maybe to get the process done and get to the panel. Now, hopefully I'm going to get it. <laughs> I'm so positive that I'm already considering myself getting it. Remember, it's all in the thought process. I went into it knowing that I, even when I was talking to them, I said, I basically, I'm going to be working for them. Um, I'm like, I can't wait to be part of your company growth. Um, I want to be sitting at the chair that you are in hiring. I see myself part of your company and so I already was imagining in myself in that uniform because the one that I'm wearing right now is actually identical to the ones that the flight attendants have although it's a little cut shorter and I love their color because it's black or blue with like you know the stripes with the colors of Southwest so um anyways you guys let's see what happens they told me you can hear from us within um two to five business days and they said if you are picked training will be in january and today we are november 29th um so that will give me all of december to give my two weeks notice and then start training in january so i'm excited that's if i get picked so the fact that they share that with me kind of lets me know they like me so we'll see so let's Stay positive, fingers crossed you guys. So if you guys are going through the process, I'll let you know what happens. Now if I get it, great. If I don't get it, it's okay. I'll you know, it's the experience. I love the experience. It's gonna be a second time around. Um, hopefully second time is a lucky time. <laughs> but if not, then it's okay. Um, I'll take what I have. I'm happy with my career right now. Um, but so it's always been a dream of mine to fly it. Um, and if I get it, like I said, I've tried my best, all right? With everything, I've given all that I had. There's, there's no interview that I've done better than this one today. Um, so hopefully they recognize that and hire me. So I'm excited, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I'll keep you posted, all right? So we are the 29th of November. We are Monday, the beginning of the week after Thanksgiving week. Um, again, I didn't really prepare for it, but I did cram literally the night before, I mean the minute before, so. I see you. So hopefully that will work. Oh my goodness. Yay. All right, guys. Bye. Oh my God, guys. Guess what? I got my CJL today. Wow. I'm so happy. I got my CJL. I'm going to be in training for Southwest Airlines. Heart hug. I got it, you guys. I got it, you guys. I got my CJO. Yep, I woke up, looked in my emails, and <clears throat> as they said, two to five business days on my fifth business days, it says, we are so excited to have you on board. Uh, make sure that you go for all your exams or testing as far as drug and, um, you know, just these testings, fingerprinting, and all that stuff that they ask and require. <clears throat> and then they said, we are welcoming you to uh, book your flight for your PPST, uh, which means it's a physical um, test to um, let you know, you know, if you are fit.
Um, I just wanted to basically meet you, if you had questions you can ask, and um, so I'm really looking forward to working with you. And this was actually where we sort of do recurrent, but this is also where we did our DPSC, which is our physical, for those of you that still don't know what that is. And the training center would be right over here, right in front of this building. Um, so it's exciting. I'm really excited to start working with you. Love me some Dallas. Look at that. Got all these separators so nobody's breathing on anyone. Love it. You go Dallas. It's like a maze. Love it. Genius. Okay. Okay, so I just got my shoes. I'm so excited. My Mary Jane. And I have no clue how to tie them up. As you can see here, I'm <laughs> there is a strap, which I get it. Uh, and then there's a little piece right there. And let me see here. There's a kind of like a little piece right over here and I have no clue what to do with it. It's like a hook, but it doesn't hook on anything on this part, which is so weird. Call me like the dumbest person in the world because I have no idea how to put this together and get those shoes on. So let me look it up. <clears throat> I'll try to look it up online, see if I can find an answer. I'm sure you guys probably, if you buy these shoes, you're probably gonna be in the same predicament. <laughs> So hopefully I can help someone. All right, I'll, let's let's get into looking for information. So reality is there's a lot to study, you guys. Um, I started maybe a week ago, so adding the two weeks that are still coming up, that's gonna be three weeks of study. I do it every morning and every night. It almost looks impossible right now. It, there's so much to do that like I'm being skeptical about being able to memorize all these, um, you know, all these pages, which is ridiculous. That's a lot, you guys. Um, but I'm gonna try my best and I'll show up every day and I'll study and I'm showing up and I'm doing the work. Hopefully it'll pay off at the end of this. Watch me look. I'm in bed studying, you guys. I'm 14 days out, actually 13 days because they're flying us on the 13th of February. And then I start my day uh, my first day of orientation on February 14th on Valentine's. I am done with the first page of the opening. Now I am learning the emergency briefing and demonstration. There is two pages to memorize. I'm doing that. I'm on paragraph number two and there's 10 paragraphs. <laughs> so I still have another eight. Um, also here, I got the packet. I'm in bed learning and reading the packet, uh, which is you know, university leadership. And I'm in my room. Um, every morning I study and I will be doing so for the next, what, almost two weeks, right? Um, and I've been doing that um, for another. You guys, I got my training date and I am going for Valentine's love. I'm going to spend Valentine's away from my children and it's going to be my first day of training, which ah, they have to pick that day. <laughs> I was kind of worried. I thought I was going to be a January trainee. I'm glad I'm not. So it gives me a little bit more time to study because some people got like two weeks to study and go. I'm given a little more than three weeks, maybe three weeks in a few days, which is good. I have so much to study, you guys. These are my cards. I'm not even done. Look at that. There's about a hundred and say like 130 cities to memorize the codes which they will test you when you go into training i'm familiar with some of them but not all because our airline did not go to some places that southwest do go um so lots of cards you guys lots and lots of memorization and pas to memorize i think i've said that but i will be going to training on february 14th but they are flying so i'll be celebrating valentine's because you know you guys it's just a day right i'll be celebrating it 
celebrating it probably uh, not the day before because they're flying me on the 13th, but I'll celebrate it on the 12th. I'll take my kids out, we'll have something beautiful, I'll have some hearts everywhere, some chocolate and some flowers, just to let them know that I love them. And I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna be gone for four weeks if all goes well. I know I can't publicize this video just yet, but I cannot wait to share that with you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna do well or not. It all depends on how well I'll memorize these um, PAs and how I can actually say them in front of the instructor. So, mm -hmm. test, test, test. So wish me luck, you guys. And um, if you're going through this, it's a lot of work, but it pays off because the salary is amazing. And I love Southwest. So who doesn't love Southwest? These are the two main airline that people love is Southwest and Delta. For some reason, everybody wants to work for them. And I'm hoping to be part of the Southwest. Okay, so I am studying. And uh, yeah, pretty much a million codes right there, as you can see. Uh, and it never ends because there's another page of codes and another one. You can see them here and another one and another one. <laughs> well, Southwest goes just about everywhere. Uh, as you can see, I'm tired. I've been studying all day. And that is not at all because before we go to training, you have to know not just one, not just two, not just three, but four pages full of PAs and announcements. So take that Southwest airline with the memorization of my age, and I can't remember. Try to repeat the first line 25 times and can't remember it. So wish me luck. Oh, and I made these little cards, you guys. So you'll have the code. And then on the other side, bam. Good morning. Another day of studying. As you can see, I have all my signs here. And so I'm going to, as I say them, I have to step so I know the order. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, you guys. But, like, I have to do everything I have to to just memorize it and have it in my brain. Because I had such a hard time. There's, like, ten paragraphs. And I have a hard time knowing what goes next. So this helped so much. If you guys are ever studying for Southwest, this is really, really helpful. So I'm cramming, cramming this morning. Now I'm saying it out loud. So it took a week to memorize every single word on every single page of these. Now uh, I'm trying to have them flow together um, nicely. So this is what I'm dealing with right now. So wish me luck. I've been doing that all morning. It is nine o'clock on a Saturday. I will be sitting. Kids are downstairs. So I got to do what I got to do. This is not easy guys, but I got this. I got this. All right guys, I am going back and forth. I mean, I'm sick right now. <coughs> <coughs> the stress of making decisions. Um, but with that said, I need to decide what to do. I'm just on the fence about, do I quit my job? That I have a secure job almost, wait, well, it's gonna make three years now. I have security. Um, I'm going to quit that secure job that I already have. Um, and I have the base that I wanted for a new job that I don't even know if I'm going to pass the training. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to get the base that I want. And my seniority is going to be completely at the bottom. Um, I'm going to be without my kids for a while. I'm going to need a babysitter. I'm going to need a crash pad to whatever base they're going to put me in. Do I risk it? Um, I don't know what, and it's kind of like, I'm going to be on probation for the first six months. So they're going to be looking at you every minute of the day. Um, it's going to be stressful because, you know, every new job is stressful. It's not like I haven't done this before. I have, but it's just a question of, do I leave something that is secure and safe to go to the unknown at the risk of not passing and losing my dream job that I already have, that I worked hard, that I trained for, um, that I sacrificed so much for. What would you guys do? I am so conflicted right now. I'm going back and forth and I'm still studying. I'm ready for Southwest. I'm ready. I've memorized all the PAs that needed to be memorized just in case I do decide I want to go forward with it. But there's so much back and forth going on. And I'm going crazy right now, so it's so many decisions making. Hey guys, so today is Thursday night and um, training starts basically.
basically I'm leaving Sunday morning at 5 in the morning and I am so conflicted. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go and leave my kids and I don't know if I should start all over with training and you know struggling financially for the first few years because I know it's always hard when I, I I keep going back and forth and um, it's really hard for me to fathom starting over but at the same time like all day today I thought you know I made up my mind and it's great I'm gonna be training I can't wait and then part of me just doesn't want to do it you know they say when in doubt just leave out and I want to do that but then something keeps on calling me back to Southwest and I just have never been so undecisive in my whole entire life I'm emotional I haven't slept uh, my kids are understanding they know I'm leaving they're getting ready you know they're writing the usual little notes I'll miss you mommy <coughs> and I'm being strong for them but at the same time I'm a disaster and I don't know what I'm doing right now I know that I'm gonna have a great career with them and this is what I've always wanted but at the same time you know um, I've got a lot of financial issues to deal with in the next six months and I have to make smart decisions when it comes to that so I'm pretty conflicted um, I don't know I just I'm gonna make a list of the pros and cons tonight maybe that'll enlighten me <laughs> but I'm still in the fence about it <laughs> this is ridiculous it's so hard for me to decide. It really is. You know, I just want to sign something. Also, I was so confident, you guys, about the PA. Um, I had memorized them. I was good to go. I had a little bit of freedom before uh, training starts, but they've changed them literally a few days um, ago. And so now I have to relearn and remove some things. And for me, learning takes time. You know, I've had a huge car accident. A huge head impact and trauma um, I have a hard time retaining things for a long period of time so I'm more of a short time you know short-term memory kind of a girl and so and now I have to undo what I learned and add that to so I only have tomorrow and the day after to memorize it so it's very stressful too um, it's not just that that's making me nervous it's also the decision that I'm about to make and the crazy turmoil life that I'm gonna have for the next six months um, you know when I'm on probation so oh you guys I'm telling you this is eating you guys I am finally finally done I have memorized it all I am ready to go I know everything there is to know I have memorized every sentence it wasn't easy but I'm finally ready to uh, go to training. So I'm just waiting on my date. Um, I was scheduled to go <clears throat> on the specific date, but uh, I was able to push it. I think they give you a one time where you can actually push it. And I was able to push the date to a later date. And uh, now I get to enjoy my kids for the last time because once I start working, I won't be able to stay home with them. But yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, it was a long process. A lot of doubt. I was doubting myself so much, but I was able to get through it. I took about three weeks to memorize everything every day, morning and night, but I finally got there. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. So good luck for everyone. You got this.